referenced in this program do not necessarily reflect those of this station. Welcome to Insights into Northeast Michigan, a WBKB News public affairs program. Insights deals with the issues affecting those in the community, as well as Northeast Michigan and the state. And now, Insights into Northeast Michigan. Welcome to another edition of Insights. I'm Erica Fernandez and I'm here today with Stan Mishley. Thank you so much for being here today, Stan. Thank you. So Stan, you are the director here at the Resource Center. I'm sorry, the manager here at the Resource Center. So go ahead and tell me what exactly is the Resource Center? Okay, the, what the Resource Center is, is, is we have 11 uh, recycle bins in Alpena County. They're scattered throughout the county and people put their recyclables in. We have a hauler that comes and brings them to our facility here. They drop them on the floor and we sort the material out and we bale it and ship it out. Okay, and so uh, tell me, how does it work? So how often do they come and drop off the recyclables? Uh, we generally get on an average of uh, three bins a day. Okay. Uh, I can say in, in this past December, we had 82 roll-offs come in. That's the roll-off bins. Wow. And that's, that was kind of a record for in December. And that was just the month of December, That correct? was just the month of December. Okay, so tell me, what do you guys do here every day? Every day, uh, like for instance right here, the guy will come in and drop the plastic and you'll see the worker, worker sorts the plastic. Uh, right now he tells me he's got a lot of, we call it garbage out here. Uh, it's, it's not cardboard. People put paper in, people put uh, plastic in, they'll put metal in. So we, we ask people to look at the recycle bins and make sure that they put the right material into the right bins. Right, and so they're separated by what? Plastics, paper? Yeah, they're separated uh, plastic, paper, and then cardboard. Okay, so they put them in the wrong bins and then that's what you guys yeah. are doing here. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, and so usually how long does it take to kind of sort through everything? Uh, a pile like this, he'll, he'll probably have that done in a couple hours. Okay. And he's taking all of the stuff that doesn't belong in the cardboard bin. And he he puts it in. You see him. He's putting it into the into the green uh, little uh, garbage bale there. Right. And when it gets full, we have to empty it. Yeah. So then, there's the cardboard bins, but there's other workers that are assigned to the plastic and the paper as yes. well. Yes. Yes. You want to come over to the yeah. paper? Okay. I this this is typically when when a roll off comes in, he drops the paper, and we process all the paper. And we we send the bail it and we send it out, but just you look right here. Yeah. This is some of the stuff that we get in paper that people are throwing in the paper. Right. That shouldn't be here. There's cardboard. Right. Filled uh, with paper. Yeah. Right. Yes. We get a lot of that too. So yeah. people just pay attention. Yeah. So tell me, what are some of the other issues that you guys are facing? Uh, well, we face face big issues down in plastic, and I can take you down there and show you that too. Our biggest problem here, and I can and I can show you what our biggest problem is is we get plastic in, people throw bubble wrap in that shouldn't be in there. We get garbage bags full of Walmart, Kmart yeah. bags. Them shouldn't be in there. What, what I tell people to do is take them to Walmart, take them to Kmart, take them to Neiman's, they have bags that you can just drop them right in. Somebody took Venetian blinds and wow. that's material that shouldn't be in here. This right here is, Right here is a good plastic. Like this is this is a number one plastic. We want this plastic, and this is a number two plastic. We want this. Okay. So and what what classifies them as being good plastics or bad plastics? One 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 plastic and two plastic. Okay. Number, and they can find that number at the bottom. They can find that number right at the bottom. Okay. That's that happens to be a number two milk jug. And so what makes these plastics better than those that are tossed to the side? Uh, we get more money for. Okay. okay. This here stuff, there's no, there's nobody recycling this right now. So what we have to do is we have to throw it in the land. We have to throw it in the yeah. compactor. We have to ship it to MOA uh -huh. in, in Atlanta, the, the garbage people. Last year we spent roughly ten thousand dollars. People throwing their their material in there that they ain't supposed to throw in. That we had to ship to to Atlanta to pay for it. So if the people would cut down, that would help us out here a lot. So tell me, once the guys that are working here, once they sort out all of the different recyclables, what happens to the trash then? 
the trash, the trash goes in the compactor and ends up at the MOA. Okay. And the good stuff, as you can see, ends up in bales over there. Okay. And so what happens with once it gets to MOA? MOA, they put it in the ground. Our plastic typically goes to uh, uh, down to Dundee, Michigan. Okay. And what they do is they ship it up into real fine pieces. They make uh, park benches, that type of material, wow. chairs, whatever. Whatever they can use it for, they make that. Okay, so what about the paper wrappers that are on all of the plastic bottles? Do you guys have to remove all those and yes. put them in the paper pile? Yes, yes. When we typically we get a, a bag like this here, we, we don't like to see bags like this because what we have to do is we have to tear it apart to see what's inside of it. Because, okay. Because as you can see, there's there's metal and there's there's number one plastic, and then this here isn't re this here isn't recyclable, so we have to throw that away. Okay. So, Typically, we have to open every bag that comes in. You mentioned that people are not disposing of their recyclables correctly. How would you um, advise everyone to do it correctly? How to do it directly? If you would just read the material on the side of the bins. Okay. The material on the side of the bins tells you, tell you how to correctly put the material in each bin and what to put in and what not to put in. Okay. And then you mentioned that there's eight, is it eight townships that come to? Yes, eight townships, yes. Eight okay. townships. Uh, there's actually, there's four recycling bins in the city and the rest of, are in the outlying townships. Neiman's Family Market has two. Habitat on Chisholm Street has two. There's one in Long Rapids Township, Sanborn Township, uh, Maplewood, Maple Ridge Township. It's just about it. all the townships out there have one. So you mentioned your workers earlier. Um, when they have to go and you know remove all of the items that don't belong in certain piles, is that costing you guys extra time, extra money? What does that do for for the yes. whole resource center? I, I can give you uh, drop a load of cardboard off. Two of us work in here. It takes us 45 minutes to clean all the garbage out first. Oh, yeah. And then and then we can get to the good stuff to recycle it. Yeah. And so do you know how many people in uh, the Alpena County are recycling? Is it enough people? Could we do better? Uh, I don't know the approximate number of people, but I can say, like I said, uh, 2011, when we started in December that year, we had 39 roll-offs. This year in December, we had 82 roll-offs. Okay. So the, the people are recycling. 50% uh, of the people recycle the right way. 25% of the people think they're recycling, but they're, they're really not recycling. And then 25% of the people just use it to throw the garbage away. So most of the time they're just, they're not recycling correctly. Is yes, that correct? Yes, that's correct. Okay. And, and one other thing too is we get a lot of people from, that come from Oscoda, Rogers City, Presquillo, Alcona, Lincoln, they come into Alpena and they think they can recycle their material and they leave their name and address in, in the material. And I send them out letters saying, you can't do this because the people in Alpena County pay for this recycling. Okay, so I think uh, we'll go ahead and talk to a worker next. Um, so stay tuned after the break for that.